2x minus 3 bracket square square bring in square bring in equals to how much um 4x square minus 9 oh no 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 there's a plus Hi, I'm Liangji Mathematics here. So back to our algebraic series again. And the first video we talk about slowly involving algebraic, you can say mathematics evolutions, okay? Then back to the second video, we talk about algebraic expression expanding part where it involves brackets, brackets with two terms inside. And of course, the three different patterns that you see in your form one, form two, okay? And of course, now I'm going to show you if we get something like this. Okay, your type 1 and type 2 as well as your type 3, how you get your final answer faster. Okay, where all these faster skills, right, you learn it now so you can benefit your form 4. Okay, it benefits your form 4 quadratics. Okay, now, so back to the three given patterns again. So I'll write it there. So you have A plus B square, type number 1. Now, okay, after that, you have type number 2, which is A minus B square. And you have type number 3, where we name it as A plus B and A minus B. Okay. Now, so again, as you can see, fast. This is the fast way, okay? So how we do it very, very fast. Okay, now, so before we do all these things, right? Okay, let me clear off the easiest one. Okay, these two is put it aside. So clear off this thing first. Okay, as you can see, as we do the very step-by-step, -step, baby steps way, right? You see, we have to cover up the plus B. We do like one time, two time, right? You get all these things. Now after that, we cover up the A, then we do like one time, two time, okay? Then we get this thing. And eventually, you notice that the one in the middle shows nothing. Nothing, okay? So I take it away, I just do like one very... Okay, just write the final answer first, huh? okay, from the previous video. Okay, now I just do like something similar to it. So I get some numbers and some unknowns inside. So let's say, I get something like 3a minus 5 and 3a plus 5. As you can see, eh, there's a plus minus here. Why I put my minus plus is the same thing, by the way. Okay, so back to this one. Okay, I do the baby step first. Okay, then after that, I'll tell you how to get your final answer easily. Okay, for, so, so you have to recognize the three different patterns. You know? So this one is a plus b square, where if you break it up, it will be a plus b and a plus b. a minus b square. It means a minus b and a minus b. And this one, they give it straight away like a plus b, a minus b. So all these things over here, what we name it as? Expand. Okay, so all these things we name it as expand. Expand the algebraic. Okay, expand the following questions. These are expand. Okay, so if let's say you do it step by step, again I cover up the minus 5. Okay, so 3a, 3a, you get a 9a squared. 3a and plus 5, you get a plus 15a. And you cover up the 3a, when you do the next one, okay, you get what? Minus 15a. And the last one, you get minus 25. Okay, so back to the one in the middle again, same unknown, you do it, done. Okay, so you find out this is a squared minus 25. So as you can see, there's a very important characteristics. You see, a plus b, a minus b, you get two answers. These are steps where it helps you in getting this answer. So you see, this thing is the same as this. It's just that I give you like numbers, okay, and after that, it's the same pattern. Final answer, two answer, you see, two terms. Yes, two terms over here. So we have to check the characteristics. Number one. How we make it faster? Very easy. Okay, as you see this pattern, right? Just take 3a, 3a, multiply it. Minus 5 and plus 5 multiply it. You get these two answers already. Okay, so there is like one um, sort of like very considered kind of important for your next part of factorization mode, right? Okay, so this one I just tell you like pre-tell you something where it links to the, the, the next, next few future videos, huh? okay? So there will, there will be one very important thing where you see this 9, this a squared is 25. We name them as the perfect square. So what do I mean by perfect square? Perfect square is something where uh, once you square root it, okay, let's say you square root your 9, you get a perfect number 3, right? You square root 25, you get a perfect number called 5. You square root the a square, you get a perfect unknown called a, right? No fraction. None. Okay, so these are called perfect square. And of course, you see another characteristic in the middle. So that's a negative. Okay, so remember these two very important characteristics. It helps in Okay, it helps in your next future video called factorize. Okay, factorize. Okay, so by the way, factorize is a is the opposite of your expand now. Okay, so we are talking about expand now. Okay, so move to the side. Okay, these two, can you tell me based on the previous video that oh sorry, can't tell me. Okay. So when you come to the previous video, okay, you see a plus b square, a minus b square, two workings to get a final answer. And your final answer comes out three 
terms, okay, three terms. So move it away. Okay, three terms, right? So I put it over here. And as you can see, you know from the previous video, it's a square plus 2ab plus b square. Okay, a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay, you don't have to purposely memorize it because I copied it from here. Okay, so I'm, I'm showing you something uh, faster. Okay, so now uh, again, I have to write you have three terms over here as your final answer. Three terms, you see, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two. Three terms, three terms, and two terms. Okay, so how I work out my final answer easily when I see this kind of pattern. Okay, so this is how I do it. Okay, so let's say I get something like 3a plus 5 square another one i put like 7x minus 3 square okay so before i come up with the final answer from here right okay before i come up with the final answer okay i want to ask you again can you tell me how many final answer over here so we have one two and three one two and three that's so, okay and why is it three there it's from the pattern given here you see you have bracket square you have bracket square you have bracket square bracket square and there's a plus in the middle and there's a minus in the middle it's just that instead of a and b i come up with different terms okay now in order to complete this right we have to understand this very important idea okay now this very important idea number one we have to know this thing called double and we have to know this thing called what called square Okay, let's understand this. Okay, double means times two. Square means you multiply it. Okay, multiply it one more time. Okay, so again, this is times two, this is multiplied one more time. Okay, a square. So let me do some quick practice with you. Okay, what's the meaning of like double and square? Okay, let's say I get something like uh, 3a for example. Okay, 3a. Huh? Can you tell me 3a if you double? Okay, if you double, what you get? Double means you times two, uh, okay? So if you times two, I don't need to write it out, okay? When you do all these things, you have to think. So in your mind, you think, 3a, if you double what you get, you get a 6a, you double it. So you think, if let's say 3a, you square it, what you get? You square the whole thing means you get 3a times 3a. You get a 9a squared. So as you can see, I didn't put any symbol over here, so I ignore it, ignore the symbol. So I get you one more time. Okay, so let's say I place plus 2x, okay, this one, huh? Okay, if I double it, double it, you take this one, you times 2, you get plus 4x. If I square it, I get this thing, I multiply it one more time, which is plus 2x, you times with plus 2x again, you get a plus 4x squared. As you can see, I've been repeating, if you see a symbol, you have to write it. If you see a symbol, you have to write it. Okay, so practice that way. Okay, we practice the correct steps. Okay, next, if I get you a minus 9a, okay, minus 9a, if you double it, it will be minus a times 2. Okay, minus a times 2, you get what? Minus 18a. If I say minus 9a, you square it. It will be minus 9a times minus 9a. You get minus and minus plus 9 and 9, you get an a1. A and A, you get an A squared. So you have to know all these double and square in order to complete your fast way. Okay, you have to complete your fast way. So one last example. Let's say I get you a, 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 a for example, something like minus 5x. Lah, okay, minus 5x. Okay, something simple. Okay, if I double it, I will get this thing times 2 is a minus 10x. If I square it, it will be minus 5 times minus 5. It will be plus 25 x squared okay so what i do now is i will move to the top and i will be doing in this sequence where you have to tell yourself in your when you do these things right it is like an inner self talking you know okay so you are not writing all the workings out because when you write all the workings out it becomes something where you have to trouble yourself to do all these things it will waste time so you have to think okay so a lot of calculations to make it make them faster you have to think so i'll just separate it okay now think this way okay one by one huh so that's the first part, that's the second part, that's the first part, that's the second part. Let's do this part first. Okay, now first thing, you get the first one, you square it. Okay, you square it. So you get 9a square over here. Okay, you get the second one, you square it again. Plus 5, you square it. It will be plus 5 times plus 5. It's a plus 25. So again, you square it, you square it. Okay. So you get the first one, you square it. You get the second one, you square it. These are not workings, you know. These are inner talking, self-talking. Okay, so after you tell yourself, then you write the answer. Tell yourself, write the answer. So that's how the process goes. Okay, so that it becomes fast. If let's say you do all this writing, okay, where I mentioned it to you, I explained to you, right? You will feel like the whole process is like kind of fast. So you have to do inner talking, okay? Now, so in order to get the middle, very easy. You take the first one, you get the second one, you multiply it together. 
and eventually you times two. Okay, now, so one more time, huh? Square this, square this. The one in the middle, you get 3a and plus 5. You see, the first two, you get 3a and plus 5. You times it together, you get a plus 15a. And the plus 15a, you double. You get plus 30a. Okay, one more time, huh? Okay, so this thing, it involves minus, you have to be careful now. Okay, you take the first one, you square it. You take the second one, you square it. Okay, first one, square it. 49x squared. Second one, square it, is a plus 9 because minus 3 times minus 3 again. Okay, now so in the middle, you get these two 7x and minus 3, 7x minus 3, multiply. It's a negative 21x, double. Negative 21x, double. It's a negative 42x. So that's how we do it fast. Okay, so what you can do is. Uh, why not we just do one more time, okay? So let's say I get some random numbers. Okay, let's say we get, okay, uh, 4y minus 3 square. Then I might make something bigger. Let's make it 8. Okay, 4y minus 8 square. So 1, 2, 3. Why is it 3? Yeah, the pattern says 3, 3, okay? So now, half. You get the first one, you square it, 16y square. You get a second one, you square it is a plus 64, right? So you get the first and the second one, 4y and minus 8, you multiply it, you get minus 32y. Double minus 64y. That's how we do it fast, okay? So this is the faster way on how to handle this kind of pattern, okay? And of course, you have to know all these basics. These are the basic, the traditional long way. So this is the faster way, okay, to improve in your workings, in your in your speed, as well as your uh, when you come into admins, all the quadratic related, uh, simultaneous equation related questions. Everything you have to use all these skill to make your process faster. You have to know this thing. We do fast is not to prove that we are good. We do fast is not to show uh, stu uh, your friends, okay, or any any students that. Uh, you, are, you are good, you are, you are very, very, very good in maths, very, uh, how say, powerful. So no, why we skip steps? Why we, why we don't do it fast? Okay, because we want to make sure we reduce the error. Imagine if you have plenty of A plus B square and let's say it plus another A minus B square, all those things. Let's say you have a lot of all these things, how say, they bring it together in one particular question. As you repeat all these workings, right, there's the chances where you get errors. Imagine if let's say your writing is very ugly. You might read wrongly. If let's say you do like very fast, you accidentally write, I mean you missed out some, some terms, some unknowns, some numbers where you misread it. That's the problem. So if let's say you can skip your workings, it improves it. Okay? It becomes more accurate. So you write fast is to improve your working, to reduce error. That's the main thing. Okay? So that's why I teach you the fast way. Okay, so if you like my video, share, subscribe. So that's all I'm going to share, share to you the fast way. So we will see in the next video. Ciao.